Hi guys, I am not going to be in front of the camera for this video. I am dedicating this completely to my makeup collection since some of you have requested for a new updated version. The last time I filmed this, it was about a year ago and my furniture was all black. So here we go. It's all white furniture now. It's all Ikea. This mirror up here is from Marshalls. I got it for about $30 and I love it. This desk is from Ikea. It's a tabletop and on this side it has legs and then over here, I'm going to pull this down a little bit. You're going to see that I have Ikea Alex drawers over here. I have my trash can right there, so I don't want to show you guys all my trash. But yeah, I have Alex drawers on this side and legs on that side. And I have this container down here that has a bunch of my hairstyling products or my hairstyling tools. And this chair is from Ikea as well. So you guys see this situation on my Instagram pretty often. And then over to the right are my Ikea lack shelves. And that mirror right there, before I forget, is from Costco. It was about $20, which I think is a great deal. And it does light up, which helps when I apply my makeup. The great thing about my makeup collection is it's all right here. Like what you see is what you get. None of it is hidden in drawers or anything. It's all out in the open, in the clear, which is how I like it because it allows me to know everything that I have at any given time. So this right here is a Muji organizer. It's a two drawer and then right underneath is a five drawer organizer. I just stacked them right on top of one another. This is the Too Faced Sweethearts Blush, the MAC Pigment in Vanilla, Benefit Girl Meets Pearl. This is a liquid highlighter. This is a Benefit Professional Agent Zero Shine Powder. This is the only powder I'm currently using, which is quite amazing. I got rid of a lot of my makeup items lately, and I'm just starting fresh. So for now, I'm only using this. And for now, I'm only using one foundation. I'm only using the Dior Skin Forever. This is my holy grail foundation and I have two of them because one is in 010 and the other one is 020 and I mix the two shades together. This is the Lorac Cheek Palette, the Lorac Unzip Cheek Palette that recently came out and I have been using this a lot lately. I think it's really pretty. Right behind it is the Lorac Unzipped Gold Palette. I do have to do a review on this. I know you guys have been wanting to see one. These are my amazing naked palettes from Urban Decay. The original is the first one that I purchased. Love it. I actually got the third one next, and it's the Rose Gold Palette. I love it. And the Naked 2 Palette is my most recent one, and this one I got from my boyfriend for Christmas, and it's slowly becoming one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. And then back there I have my Lorac Pro Palette, which is my favorite of all time. And this is the Lorac Pro 2 Palette that I recently got. I haven't played with this too much. I've only used it maybe like three times or so. And in the very back, this is my Morphe Brushes eyeshadow palette that I put together when I was uh, at the Morphe Brushes store in Burbank, California last summer. I went with my mom and handpicked these eyeshadows and made my own custom palette. This and my Lorac Pro Palette are pretty much my two favorite eyeshadow palettes ever. And back here is my NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. I just recently did a review on this, so if you are interested in learning more about it, it's about two videos back, I think, from this video. And this is the Lorac Pro To Go Palette. I absolutely adore this thing. I definitely take it on trips with me all the time. So I love that I was able to really tuck everything nicely into this area. And now we're going to get into the drawers. In this drawer, I have my concealers. And so this is the Maybelline Dream Lumi. MAC Pro Longwear, L'Oreal True Match, I have it in a darker shade for contouring, NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, Maybelline Fit Me, NYX HD, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, another NARS concealer, I have this one in custard and this one is in vanilla. So one is for spot concealing and the other one is for highlighting. Maybelline Master Conceal, I'm not a big fan of it. I mean, it's still a good one, but I'm not gonna repurchase it. And this is the NYX HD concealer, but in a darker shade for cream contouring. And this right here is that Gerard Cosmetics BB Plus Illumination Facial Cream that you see a lot of people talking about. This next drawer is very colorful. I have a lot of my drugstore balms in here. So back here are my Revlon lip butters. I did clean out some of them, so these are the ones I ended up keeping. This one is Pink Truffle. Juicy Papaya is one of my favorites of all time. And down here are my Maybelline Color Whispers. 
These are the Maybelline Baby Lips that I got from a viewer in Australia. She sent me some really awesome products and these were included. And these are the baby lips that we have. So I have some of them over here. And then back there is a Bite Beauty lipstick that you get when you become a VIB Rouge member. As you can tell, most of my lipsticks and lip products are gonna be from the drugstore. These are the CoverGirl Jumbo Gloss Bombs. They're great. This is a NARS Audacious lipstick. It's the only one I have and it's in the shade Barbara. It's a nude, it's really pretty. I have some Kate Moss Rimmel lipsticks over here. This one is also not drugstore. It's an Urban Decay lipstick in the shade Obsessed. Some NYX lipsticks over here. More Rimmel back here, and these are my Wet n Wild lipsticks all the way in the back. The majority of my Revlon lip products are in here. So these are the Color Burst lip glosses, the new HD lip glosses that came out in the last couple months, my favorite Revlon Super Lustrous lip glosses. This is my favorite in Pink Pop. I also love this nude one in Supernatural. This is one Revlon lipstick back here in the shade Rum Raisin. I have more. Uh, Revlon lipsticks that I will show you here in a bit. Revlon Color Burst Matte Bombs, and these are also super lustrous lip glosses back there, but they're in the older square packaging. I don't have a lot going on in this next drawer, but I'll just show you real quick. The L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Glosses that came out recently, these are great. The NYX Butter Glosses I love. L'Oreal Glossy Bombs are awesome. Revlon Matte Bomb right here in Standout, I think is the shade. I love this dual ended Bite Beauty lipstick. Um, the one side is musk and the other side is lychee, it was my favorite. This is the new Lorac lipstick that came with that palette, the cheek palette, and I haven't tried it yet, so I'm just gonna leave it in there for now. And this last drawer has my Maybelline Color Elixirs Fresh Sugar Tulip Lip Balm, NARS Lip Gloss in Angelica in the older packaging, NYX Dolly Pink, Milani Lip Gloss is here, and the Too Faced Melted Liquid Lipsticks in Fuchsia, Peony, and Nude. This cookie jar or candy jar or whatever you want to call it is from Target. It was only about 7 or $8 and I love storing my eyeshadow brushes in there because it just keeps the dust out and it's really simple that way. And the beads are from Michaels. And down below is where I keep a majority of my gold package lipsticks and the organizer is from the Container Store. Over here, I have my only two YSL lipsticks. This is in number one and number seven. These are my Gerard Cosmetics lipsticks in 1995 and Tequila Sunrise. These are my L'Oreal lipsticks. This one is in Ferris Nude and this is I Pink You're Cute. And these are the L'Oreal Color Caress Bombs. I think that's what they're called. And they're really, really pretty bombs, but I think they were discontinued, which is unfortunate. And over here are my Milani lipsticks. This one right here is actually a limited edition Milani lipstick. And let's get a close-up of these right here, and I'll show you the shades of Milani lipsticks that I have. Starting in the first row, Fruit Punch on the left, Matte Diva, Matte Innocence, and Matte Blissful is my current favorite. The second row over from the right is Sugar Glaze, Pretty Natural, Naturally Chic, Rose Femme, and Rose Hip. And then the top left is Nude Creme, Pink Love, Sangria, Cabaret Blend, and Cinnamon Spice. And for the middle organizer, I'm going to show what's on top first. So I have these two containers from the container store, and this is where I keep my lip pencils on the left and my eye products on the right. So eye pencils and even brow products actually and some tweezers. This is a lip gloss organizer and I like storing my MAC lipsticks in here. I noticed that some other girls were doing this and I thought it was such a great idea so it's not my idea at all. So on this side I have Speed Dial, Snob, Rose Lily, Syrup, and Twig. Top left I have Candy Yum Yum, Cream Cup, Girl About Town, Capricious and Plumple. I'm gonna start off with like the third row from the right. So this is Velvet Teddy. Next to that is Hue and then Up the Amp. Right above Up the Amp is Rebel and then over to the left is Angel and then Pink Nouveau. And then right above Pink Nouveau is Ri Ri Woo, which is a matte red. Eva Glam Nikki and Blankety, which is my favorite nude or one of my favorite nudes. This is one of my favorite drawers because it has the Milani Baked Blushes and I love Milani Baked Blushes. I think they're my favorite from the drugstore. So let's see if I can name these off without looking at them. This one is Rose d'Oro, Berry Amore, D Delicioso Pink, 
Bella Rosa, Red Vino, Dolce Pink, Coralista, and Luminoso. This next drawer is pretty random. Back here I have a Revlon blush in Pink Haute. Right underneath that is the Revlon Bronze Glow. The Essence Silky Touch Blushes. My Physician's Formula Happy Booster Blushes, which I love. This one is in Warm, Pink, Natural. I think that's that one's natural, right? Yeah, that one's in Natural and Rose. And that's the only Victoria's Secret makeup item I have. And then back there I have my NYX blushes. This one is in Pinched and that one is Rose Garden. Now we're getting into the non-drugstore blushes. Over here are my Bobbi Brown blushes. This one is in Pale Pink, which is kind of weird because it's not pale, it's really bright. And down here is Apricot, Benefit Rockateur, Coralista by Benefit. My two NARS blushes, one is in Angelica and the other one is Luster. I've actually gone through two NARS blushes already, like I've hit pan and I've actually like cleared it out. One was Orgasm and the other one was Angelica. So this is my second Angelica. And back there is a Dior blush that I don't really use very often. It's a really pretty coral color. Those are the Balm Instains. I love those. They're extremely pigmented. This one is my favorite. It's an Argyle. And my MAC blush in Dainty. It's the only MAC blush I own. Benefit, no not Benefit, the Balms Frat Boy. And then right underneath that is the Hot Mama blush, which is one of my favorites of all time. On the right, I have Bourgeois blushes from a viewer in Australia, the same one that sent me the Maybelline Baby Lips, so I'm very spoiled. These are Bobbi Brown Shimmer Bricks. One is in bronze and the other one is in beige. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I recently got beige and it's really, really pretty. Over here, I have a couple bronzers. This one is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in Ticket to Brazil. I love that one and I also love the one underneath it or right below it which is the Physician's Formula Talk Free Mineral Airbrushing Bronzer. I think that's what it's called. And then down below, some more bronzers and random powders. Back there is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil, Benefits Hula, Smashbox Matte Bronzer. This is my second one, and I've already hit pan on that one. The NYC Sun and Bronze, NYX Blush in Taupe that I use for contouring, NARS Luster, no, NARS Laguna, sorry. And underneath that is the Bombs Bahama Mama, which I haven't really used because it's so dark in the pan, but I'll get around to using it, maybe in the summer. And that one back there is the NYX Radiant Finishing Powder. Here's another one of the Target jars, and this one I have all of my face brushes. This organizer is just like the one with the gold product. This side over here is Maybelline, and the other side is Revlon, so I will show you the shades. So on the left is Lilac Flush, then you have Orchid Ecstasy, Blushing Bud, Power Peony, and Petal Pink. I love all of them. The second row, I have one on the right that is one of the nude lipsticks. It's Ravishing Rose, and I believe it was a limited edition shade. And then I have my matte Maybelline lipstick. So Faint for Fuchsia on the right, then you have Lust for Blush right next to that, Daringly Nude, and then Touch of Spice. Right above Touch of Spice is a Vivid's lipstick in Pink Pop. It's one of my favorites of all time. And next to that is Make Me Pink, Warm Me Up, Born With It, and then up top is Nude Lust, which is a really pretty nude, and that one is permanent. And as some of you know, my favorite drugstore lipsticks are the Revlon Super Lustrous lipsticks. So on the left is Prim Rose, or the bottom left is Prim Rose, which is my favorite lipstick, then Pink Pout, and Pink in the Afternoon. The second row right above pink in the afternoon is Coral Berry, Rose Velvet, and Love That Pink. And then right above Love That Pink is Berry Haute, Sassy Mauve, and Certainly Red. These organizers on the right are the same Muji organizers that I have on the left. It's just that now I have this Bi Allegory blush container or this blush organizer right here that stores my Milani, no, sorry, not Milani. Well, actually these are Milani. These are the Milani illuminating powders. And over here are the Maybelline Master Highlight blushes, which many of you know are my favorite. And up top is pretty much my Too Faced section. On the left is the bronzer palette. Then I have my Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette in Semi-Sweet. That one I just recently got. And right behind that is the original Chocolate Bar palette and Too Faced Pretty Rebel. Pretty Rebel is limited edition. There's not a lot going on in this drawer right here. 
since I cleaned out my collection, I have some additional space for new products in the future. But this is where I store my Physician's Formula Nude Bronzer and Nude Blush. And to the right is the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder, which I have been loving for contouring. Here are my mini eyeshadow palettes and quads and trios. On the left is my Sonia Kasha quad. Underneath that is a Wet n Wild palette. And right next to that is the Wet n Wild Walking on Eggshells. I have two of them because the original one that I had, I couldn't find it and I kind of freaked out because I love it that much. I went back to the store and got another one, which is not a big deal because they're only about $3. So now I have two. Underneath that, I have some more of those trios. This is the Comfort Zone palette from Wet n Wild. And underneath that is Petal Pusher. Back there is a Bobbi Brown eyeshadow palette, NYX, and some more of the Wet n Wild trios. Here are some more drugstore products. As you can tell, I love drugstore makeup. On the left is a Maybelline quad. I'm not a big fan of Maybelline quads, but I'm going to keep it and try it a little bit more. A Wet n Wild, not Wet n Wild, a Whitening Lightening Bar Brow to Go, Brow Drama from Maybelline that I love, Benefit, Gimme Brow back there and my Dip Brow Pomade from Anastasia. So I do have some brow products in here. A Maybelline Gel Eyeliner. Back there is a Physician's Formula Nude Palette. These are Maybelline Color Tattoos that I love as eye primers. Back there is a, are the two Milani uh, Bella eyeshadows that I have. I don't really like them, but I have them back there anyway because I can use them for like a nice natural wash of color on my lid. One single... A Wet n Wild eyeshadow. Down there is a Revlon palette in Naturally Glamorous that I love. And these are the L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadows, which are really pretty. This drawer has my mascaras. Aside from my Maybelline Full and Soft Waterproof, which I always have in my makeup bag, uh, these are the only other ones that I have. I cleaned out my mascara collection because a lot of them were getting pretty old and I wasn't using them. And these are a little bit more on the new side, so I felt like I could keep them. When you're a beauty blogger and a beauty vlogger, I feel like you just try so many mascaras and you just accumulate so many. So I really had to narrow it down and you wanna make sure that, yeah, you're gonna review them, but don't keep them too long because mascara does not last that long. So I had to get rid of some. Over here is the Maybelline Pumped Up Colossal Mascara. And eh, I don't really like these for my upper lashes, by the way. Uh, these are just good when I'm wearing false lashes or my lower lashes. The L'Oreal Manga Mascara, the waterproof one, is actually pretty good. I'm surprised that I really like it. The Maybelline Sensational, Last Sensational. That is the Maybelline Full and Soft, but it's not waterproof. And that one is not as good as the waterproof version for me. And this right here is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, which I'm not a big fan of. But again, I will use it when I'm wearing false lashes. And these are the Revlon Photo Ready Skin Lights. These are liquid highlighters. I love this drawer. These are my Hourglass products. This is the new Hourglass Ambient Blush Palette, the Ambient Lighting Palette, the Ambient Lighting Powder Palette. I don't know what you call it. And this is the one in Diffuse Light, which I use under the eyes. It's a nice yellow powder. And over here is Dim Light, which is what I use pretty much for like the areas that I contour. And the final drawer is where I keep most of my highlighters. On the top left is the NYX Illuminator Hard Candy and Tiki Mary Luminizer from The Balm. It's one of my favorites of all time. This one down here is actually not really a highlighter. It's an illuminating powder of some sort from Physicians Formula. It looks like the Happy Booster blushes. I need to give that one a little bit more love. And these two are some of my favorite highlighters ever. They are the Becca highlighters. And I have one in Opal and the other one is in Moonstone. And then over to the right is an organizer from Marshalls. And this is where I store my two blush palettes from Tarte. They're both the holiday blush palettes. And then in the back is the Urban Decay Vice 2 palette. The Vice 2 palette, I really don't pay a lot of attention to. It's just so bulky, but the quality of the shadows is really good. This is a box from Target that I store uh, random like cords or maybe memory cards for my camera or anything like that in. And this is from Michaels. It looks like a candle from Bath and Body Works or an empty one, but it's actually a little bit bigger and it's from Michaels and put my lip glosses in there. So those are my Gerard Cosmetics lip glosses. 
And this right here is, sorry, you're looking at the dirty butt of my beauty blender. I'm gonna flip that around. And that's where I store my beauty blender. It's a container from Valentine's Day. And that is the end of my updated makeup collection. I hope you guys liked it. And let me know in the comments if you wanna see a more in-depth video about any of the stuff that I mentioned because we kind of went through it pretty fast. I didn't go through every little product that I had. And also let me know what other videos you would like to see from me. I know I have a list already on my phone of things that you guys want to see. I did get a request for a Q&A video. I've never done a question and answer, but if you want to see something like that, let me know too. So that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you all again really soon. Bye.